move on, VW Pro. Q4. Well, that's the first time we've seen a nine on the back window of the current racing Beetle. Well done, gang. It's moving on. Yeah, it's been really nice to see the progression of the current racing Beetle all throughout this weekend. You, seriously, mate, you need to go and have a look at that car in the pits. It is outrageously detailed, beautiful uh, work of art. And uh, Sam, Ollie and the team, very proud of what they've put together there. I say it should be. A lot of people follow that. Uh, Johnny Young. Uh, Johnny Young. <laughs> Wrong person. <laughs> Time goes through 11.06, 11.33 for Graham Fairhead. All right, next up, Ed Keach and uh, Charlie Roberts. Ed looking for a 12.20, Charlie 11.65. Well, they're currently 12 and 10. 77 moves Charlie up from 10 to 8, and Ed... 41 on 20 moves up from 12 to 10. James Hodson and Jake Fronda. James currently number three. And uh, Jake 18. All right, just having a quick time check then. Uh, just gone quarter to 10 in the morning. Loads of things going on on site. Live Action Arena starting at 10 o'clock this morning. Nice early start for them. Bright and early, absolutely. Old Dog, first of all, followed by uh, Lee Bowers. And if, you ever, if you've ever been to one of those shows, or if you haven't already been this weekend, you kind of know that the shows kind of all mould into one at some point. Yeah. Crazy scenes. Well, Jake's in the 11s there, but uh, a breakout doesn't help him, and uh, no improvement for Jake. Well, Luke was certainly up early this morning. He, was do he did a Facebook post at like half five in the morning. Five a.m. clip. I think it was cool. What's up with you? <laughs> like? Couldn't sleep. <laughs> I'm sure it was coffee at the teapot that kept him going through. It's sort of the first thing you do get up in the morning, just checking the social media, and Luke and his gang are smiling <laughs> outside the teapot this morning. I think it was Barney as well. Yeah, from Barney the, was there, yeah. <laughs> box That's lane. it, Barney <laughs> was there. Perhaps they're celebrating Gordon's birthday. I don't maybe, know. maybe. <laughs> they were enjoying the piano. Well, Luke Dahl's an 8.70. 896, he'll take that. Phil Blond Not goes bad. 71 on the 60. So Phil 17 to 8, Luke 19 to 13. Well, Luke is number three in the points, Phil Blog is number four. So they all want to qualify well. Alright, Chris Boyner and Ollie Whitehouse. Chris has only actually done one round of the championship this year so far, so uh, he's down in 15th, doesn't matter. He's, uh, he's here for the fun, he's here for the entertainment, he's here for the racing, he's here for a good time. And hopefully he can do a good time here. Mind you, had a bit of a sticky start there. Ah, Ollie. Two spots there, 10 to 8, 13.01 on a 12.90, and no help for Chris. Well, if it's old school or new school, <laughs> I can't think of the word, <laughs> the opposite of old school. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Ian Dale and Rob Carter, your next bet. Oh, bouncing around there for Ian, just trying to get the... Uh, the clutch and the rear tires to work in harmony together. Rob Carter though, 12.90 darling. Goes 13.30, stays put. And 13.61 for Eel, no help for him.
1081 for Chris. Uh, Abby goes 1296. No help for either of those two, but nevertheless, finding a bit of consistency. Can't complain at that. 11, Fuelless Bar opens up at 11. And the main stage is at 12 o'clock. Don't forget, it's Rust and Rat today. So all of those have started to appear in front of the main stage already. It was pretty busy when I went by earlier on. Uh, Paul Jordan just goes through with a 10-10. All right, Andy Vos and Rob Cresswell. This is VW Sportsman. Just had VW Pro go through, obviously. All right, Rob looking for a 16.30 with the A3. And Andy wants a 15.82. Now, Rob uh, stands a regular chance of moving up from the 26 spot he's in at the moment, as long as he doesn't break out. And he doesn't. And he goes 16.44, moves up from 26 to 12. Uh, Andy Vos is the one that breaks out, went too quick. 15.66 on his 82. All right, Dan Brioche. As we love to call him. How you doing, Alex? He's down there as well. Good to see you, mate. Going alongside Ben Mace. Uh, we know Ben was missing in action yesterday. I think he went to a wedding, wasn't it? I think uh, that was the, the call. Uh, and he won a trophy, actually, for Rob Wiebron. <laughs> so he'll collect that today. So the Loco Polo is off and running. Looking for a 12.93. Cracking light, 08, he'll take that. Ben Mace gets there first, breaks out, goes 11.82. And uh, <laughs> Dan picks that moment to break out as well, 12.79. A wry smile. <laughs> All right, Tom Herbert, 13.8 with the golf, going alongside the candy queen, Emma Sadler. She dials in a 1565. Actually, I've just noticed Tom hasn't got a number on the board yet, really. Thirty-one, fifteen, sixty-five. Uh, that's rather bizarre, actually. Uh, a breakout for Emma Sadler. Tom gets in and bumps Emma out of the show. So <laughs> Emma is now number thirty-three. Right, your number two qualifier at the moment, Lawrence Clark with Thunderbug. He was number one uh, for quite a while, but then eventually just got pipped by Laurie Anslow in that last qualifying session yesterday. So. Uh, mm -hmm. And Lawrence come back. Always going to be Bruce Harvey with the Greenpeace Golf. He dials in 1422. Currently number 25. Got the barbecue going well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, break out oh. by three hundredths for Lawrence. I'm and oh, no help actually for Bruce either. Right, see how Jerry Sadler gets on then. He's number 15. Uh, the Beetle, dialing in 16.15 against Justin with what he used to run at golf, not anymore. He's in the Audi. 15.57 is his dialing. Oh, Jerry Sadler. Take a bow, young man. 16.15 was the dial. 16.15 with an eight. He Bang on. takes the number one qualifying spot. Well done, that man. 15.50. Uh, uh, no help in the other lane, though. Right. That means everybody else has just been shuffled down one spot due to Jerry's number one spot. And the, th the weird thing is, Jerry Sadler, number one, Emma Sadler, has just been bumped out of the show. So Emma's got to get back in, yeah, <laughs> opposite ends of the, of the ladder. Okay, Nigel Gregson with the Octavia. Ah, oh, he was pushed back in, wasn't he? So he hadn't had a run yet. 
Uh, Paul, oh, something's happened that uh, his times haven't counted. Uh, but Paul Robinson goes 14.82, breaks out. And Nigel Gregson, 18.04, absolutely miles away from where he wanted to be. So he ends up in the number 34 spot. Right, well, Laurie Anslow was number one coming into this session, just been dropped back to number two. Going alongside Tom Circuit with the Lupo. 1710 and 1870, the respective targets for these two. Laurie heading to the stripe. 1720, exactly a tenth of a second off, but look Close. at Tom Circuit. Mm. Four hundredths off. Number 19 up to number six. All right, John Gallant, very proud of his new wheels on these uh, Sirocco. I actually do look quite good. I saw the car in the pits and he came up to me. What do you reckon? I'm, yeah, it worked. I like him. 1730. Here's the darling for John. And you've got Alex Day with a golf. 1290. Well, that's not the 1290 he wanted. Uh, 1481, so no help, obviously. Uh, 1756, he's only, what, quarter of a second away from where he wanted to be. But we talk tight margins here, so no help, in fact, for either of them. All right, Steve Stone and John Crawford. Steve Stone currently 16, John number 15. So John Crawford, number three in the points chase at the moment. Uh, Paul Robinson has got a comfortable lead at the top, uh, along with Phil Jones, and there's a bit of a back gap back to John Crawford. So John really needs to score some points here. <laughs> it's back for more punishment. 16-18 <laughs> and 16-19, no help for these two. Right. <laughs> Put the kettle on. Oh, pop the kettle on, he says. Paul Jackson and... Uh, Darren Walsh. I can't wait for eliminations. <laughs> I, 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 that, this is my pick. <laughs> you can guarantee 100% that Paul Jackson, whichever race is in, will be leaving first. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have belief. I have faith. <laughs> I mean, can you can imagine dialing in against a 12-second car. It's got a 13-second head start. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he camps in that as well. He does. Uh, it just it was on the he campsite does. earlier and just brings it over. It is, yeah. Right, well obviously Darren's gonna get there first, barring major disaster. Uh seventeen oh four. Come back for part two when we <laughs> let you know what Paul runs. Go and put the kettle on. Twenty five ninety seven on a twenty five fifty darling. And the heady heights of forty five miles an hour at the stripe. But it's the funniest thing, though, you see him get out and he's got his full face crash out <laughs> and his hands device, <laughs> his full fire suit, everything. But that's the rules. It's, it's got to be done. <laughs> Either that, we don't want to burn his hands, but he took the kettle off the burner. Right. That's the most dangerous part of it, it isn't, is, it, isn't it, Miguel? <laughs> <laughs> right, Andy Cooper, the fat man Octavia, going alongside Phil Jones, the dragon wagon. Now, Phil Jones is number two in the points. He doesn't want Paul Robinson to get away. And we've talked a lot about the Audi TT body being a one that is used quite a lot in drag racing at the moment. But also the Octavia has that same kind of shape. It, yeah, it's, it's quite bizarre that you've got two cars that you... Well, well not really a mainstay of the VWDRC, no. but have become so purely because they're quite cheap to get hold of, uh, especially Audi TTs now. If we went on to Auto Trader and look for, a, like, an H plate or, well, that's a 51 plate, so you're looking at, what, 20 years old? Yeah. So you can find a 20-year-old Audi TT. Parts are readily available. 
and I think you'd be quite surprised how I'm much pretty sure there'll be someone time. here selling one on their front drive at the moment that we could probably buy. <laughs> Tell you what, just for fun, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to buy one, but <laughs> we're going to see how much they are. Polly goes and breaks out, as does Steve Metcalf. Those two do not move up. Now the little Lupo back once more. The Passat. <laughs> Reese Finney in the Kestrel. Hazel Carter in the Auto Glim. Twelve and thirty-two, respectively. Can they change their positions here with this run? Let's say fifteen forty-five and a seventeen sixteen. Both stay exactly where they are. With Hazel unfortunately breaking out that time round. Andrew and Jake now. Andrew in the V six Foxy. M2, MK2 Golf and the Polo for Jake. And that's going to be a breakout for Jake. He drops down to 10th and a really good run there for Andrew, moving up to the third spot in qualifying with a Mark II Golf. I can see you searching furiously for a TT at the moment, Carl. I think I might just go buy it now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Audi TT Quattro two door, uh, 2001 on a wide plate, 122,000 miles. It's got an ABS fault, 1,195 quid. <laughs> there Not we go. bad, That's bargain, bargain. It looks tidy as well. Yeah, anything between a grand and two grand, get yourself an Audi TT Go Drag Racing. Other cars are available, of course. Oh, Becky Bambrick breaks out. Lottie goes 19 dead. All right, Danny Bean with a loop out. Connor Jones. Well, Danny currently number 27, Connor number 22. Fifteen fifty-three and a sixteen seventy-eight. Guess what? No help for either of them. Nigel Coulson with the Leon. Is that a factory colour? Is that a I'm rat? not sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those colours, isn't it? If it is a factory one, one of the ones they either struggle to get off the forecourt or someone snaps up straight away. Yeah. Well, you do. He's doing well with the car. He's currently number eight. He stays number eight, goes 14.39 on a 14.10 dial-in. Right, okay, Morgan Wilson. The target for her, 18.15. Do you know what? I think she could actually hit this here. Oh, 1834. Oh, so um, close. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes it goes quick, sometimes it don't. It all depends on how the car gets off the line, and it did bog slightly. So I thought, yeah, that's going to be an 18-1, 18-2. But yeah, just a little bit off. But nevertheless, it was the right side.
All right, Alex Knott needs to get into the show here. He's currently number 36. Uh, we normally hear, see him with a silver beetle with the green flashings, and it's called highly medicated. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great beetle, ah. but it's broken at the moment, so he's got this golf uh, that is struggling to get dialed in. Anyway, 1640 is the target. Come on, Alex, you can do this. Probably got the radio on in the car. All right, heading on up to the stripe. Can he get in? 1640 is the target. Gets a 1647. Oh. Good shot, Alex. 36 up to number 12. Well, we've still got one Fires more qualifier to go uh, for VW Sportsman. But he's in. That's the important bit. And comfortably in at number 12. 